Hello again, welcome back. Another Belgian beer, and this is from Lindemans, and it's a creek, a cherry beer, a lambic beer. I had a cherry beer the other day, I'm trying to remember which one it was. <laughs> Terrible. Oh, it was Delirium Red. Oh man, that was so nice. So, let's have a wee look on the label. See, I've not got a Lindemann's glass, so I'm just using my Fruly glass. So it's uh, Lindemann's Creek Lambic Beer, fruit beer. Authentic Lambic Brewery for six generations. It's, it's only 3.5% ABV. It's a 35.5 centilitre ball. Normally it's 33 centilitres. 330 mil, this is 355 mil. What an unusual size. Maybe it's because it's for export or something like that, I don't know. Anyway, not a great deal of information on it. No, it's all in Dutch and French. So, let's crack it open. See what it's like. It's a cork. Oh, there is a, 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 a writing on the crown Lindemans. So I'm going to have to go and get my corkscrew. Wow! I think that's the first time I've seen that, a cork. I've seen it like under pressure, like uh, the saint Fulian Grand Cru. That was a cork that was up well, like a champagne bottle with a wire on it. This is an actual cork. Do I have... I've got a proper corkscrew. I'll use that. I'm going to, I'm going to use the one on the Swiss Army knife. I'll use a proper corkscrew. So that was unexpected. Let's uh, easily turn the ball. Until to get it started. And then just screw it in. And just prise it open. A wee pop. No gun smoke. Let's have a wee look at the cork. Smells nice. So let's see how it pours. The smell of the cherries. So this is a fruit beer glass. Long, tall, thin flute. It looks divine as about a, an inch of pinkish, tightly packed foam. It's beautiful cherry red, as you would expect. Uh, this it's not fully opaque. You can see you can see the outline of my hand through it. Smell. cherries but it's not just cherries there are beer elements in there maybe it's a, a bit of malty presence I don't know it's a beautiful smell it smells like you know, dark cherries like what do you call them? dark cherries yeah. Anyway, cheers my dears. It's delicious. It's very tart. First impressions, it's carbonated. You know, it just spreads the flavour around the mouth. You get that tartness. 
not overly, it's not like sour like I had, uh, oh, I had uh, the Strafa Hondrik Wild. No, it's just really sour. Delicious, but this is more tart than sour. And it's full cherry flavour. Like fresh, concentrated cherry. Intense cherry. But no overpowering. Now, there is a there's a slight pithy bitterness at the back. But mixed in with it's like a fruity bitterness, if that makes any sense. This is a bit I always have trouble with describing flavours. And that comes with experience, eh? So I'm gonna try again. Oh, it's intense. Yeah, so it's the, the effervescence, the, the tartness, the cherry, the, fruit, the fruitiness of the cherries. That slight bitterness along the back. There might be a slight maltiness, but that could be my imagination. Let's have a look online to see what they say. I thought I might have actually found the Lindemann's website, but no, it's the beermerchants.com where I think I bought this beer. So it's Lindemann's Creek, it's a uh, style, it's fruit and flavoured. Country Belgium Brewery Lindemann's, 3.5% ABV. Tasting notes Lindemann's Creek is an easy drinking and intense tart. Cherry sweet cherry lambic fruit beer. Best served in a branded straight glass. Good with venison and meatballs. Descriptors are fruity light summery sweet. It is a branded straight glass, but it's the wrong brand. <laughs> is it? So that's beer merchants. Okay. On Antarctic, it's Creek from Browery, Lindemans in Flanders in Belgium. It's the style is a Lambic Creek, 3.5% ABV. The IBU is 18. Doesn't seem as much as that. Uh, we've already told you that our family never does anything the way other people do. Creek Lindemans is a good example of that. In order to obtain a beer like no other, we have been adding whole sour cherries. Sour, that's what I'm looking for. Sour cherries, no strong cherries, or dark cherries. Sour cherries. We've been adding whole sour cherries to our Lambic for generations. Our meeting with American importer Charles Finkel in the 1970s revolutionised the fruit beer segment. This is a big long essay. <laughs> I'm looking at each other. I'll cut to the end point. Uh, due to the use of filtrate and pasteurisation, this creek is sweeter and fruitier than Old Creek Cuvée René, which undergoes a second fermentation process in the bottle. Thanks to its innovative flavour, it was a resounding success, both here in Belgium as well as around the world. Nowadays, it is undoubtedly the reference, the reference creek for consumers. Descriptors are cherry, sweet, fruity, sour, tart. Now that's sweet's been mentioned a few times there. I suppose you could say there's a sweetness. But it's more tart than sweet. I suppose it's a balance. It's utterly divine. Do a wee hard pour. That's, that's never a good idea. It's never a good idea, though. 
It just ruins the beer. Anyway, I'm going to give this 9 out of 10 because it's divine. Try it if you can find it. I've had a few lambics and fruit beers and I love them. It might not be to everybody's taste, but what were the scores for this? Two friends check ins with an average of 4.25, everyone else 86.9 thousand, with an average of 3.55. So that's not bad for us, just over a 3.5. Yeah, I'm giving it 4.5. 9 out of 10. Outstanding beer. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time, hopefully. Ta ta for now. Cheers, my dears. 40,000 finger ahead. <laughs>